Hello everyone, let me show you really quick a neat trick I use to render a default page when a parameterized route receives no parameter. Let me show you what I mean by that. So on Ephemerally, which is one of my websites, I have the privacy policies section. It's called policies, so let's click on it. And as you can see, there is a default page rendered here that contains the privacy policy and the terms of service links. If you take a look at the route, the route is only slash policies and has no other uh, parameter after it. But if we click on privacy policy here, then you see that we navigated to policy slash privacy and the privacy policy content is displayed. Let's take a look at the code responsible for this. I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio Code where I have my project and here it is. It's a simple get request to policies slash policy and the question mark after the parameter means that the policy parameter is optional. So as you can see here, I'm using this structuring to take the policy property off of request params, but I am also assigning it a value of index. So if the params object doesn't contain the policy property, then I assign it a default value of index, which gets passed down here to this template string in this render method call to identify the page that needs to be rendered. If you take a closer look at this, you will notice that this looks pretty similar to default function parameter values. Let me write a simple sum function to illustrate this. Function sum a b return a plus b. In a situation where the function would be called like this, sum, it would return not a number because it would try to sum up undefined and undefined. But I wouldn't want that, so I will just assign default values to a and b, so a equals zero, and b equals zero. And this way, whenever the function gets called like this, it will return zero. I hope this video is useful for you. I hope you will use the knowledge in this video in your day-to-day -day job and that it will make your work easier. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, all the YouTube cliches, follow me on everything and catch you in the next video. Bye.